Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for Gemini. We're going to be taking a look at what is going out and what is coming in. The messages are general, they're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's get right into it. And first we're going to take a look at what is going out. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? Okay. I have the Seven of Earth in the reverse. And I also have the Two of Air in the reverse. For some of you, what is going out is you no longer feeling like there's no options. you no longer feeling stuck, like you can't move forward, like things are not working out the way that you want them to. You feeling like you're stuck, you feeling like you can't see beyond your circumstances, beyond what you're going through. Let's clarify the messages. Spirit, clarify the seven of earth. I have the ace of clubs. For some of you, this has to do with the relationship not working out after you've invested a lot of time and energy into this connection. It's like you're finally deciding just to give to yourself, just to work on you. Your spirit says invest in others. It's like you're tired of investing into other connections. For some of you, Spirit says friendships, family, for others of you. It's like you've been giving to everyone else, but you're not getting that same energy reciprocated back to you. So it's like you're deciding to focus on yourself. Let's get a message for the two of air in the reverse. I have strength in the reverse and I have the two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, some of you are not feeling confident when it comes to a situation. It's like you really don't see any future with this person or with your current circumstances. You don't feel like you there's enough for you to move forward with. And it's like with this Ace of Cups, it's like you're finally realizing that if I cannot have what I desire with the people in my life or with this person that I'm connected to, I'm just going to give to me. I'm just going to f focus on me. I am pouring my energy into myself and I'm no longer giving that to someone who is not going to give back that same love, that same compassion, that same effort that I put out. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Because this is you no longer feeling like there's any hope. You're just not being confident in what's before you. I 
I heard lack. So for some of you, you may also feel that there is lack in your life. Spirit says when it comes to your finances, your career, you really don't see any other options. It's like you're starting to lose hope. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yes, you are giving to yourself. You're no longer pouring into a situation that is unstable. It's like this person is not offering you anything stable. They're not offering you anything that is worthwhile. They're not willing to commit. And because they're not willing to commit, they're not willing to give you what you want. You are deciding to give to self. You're tired of investing into relationships, situations that you end up being at a deficit. You experience some type of loss. Let's get a message for strength in the reverse I also heard guard for some of you looking at this ace of cups it's like you're very guarded with this person I heard come back for some of you this person has tried to come back or maybe trying to come back but it's like your guards are up you're guarding your heart no longer over investing look at what i have the lovers in the reverse yeah you're not confident when it comes to this relationship working out you're finally accepting the situation and this person for what it is for some of you, this is a divorce. I heard family. So yes, you're you're um, divorcing this person, your husband, your wife, your spouse. It's like you're realizing that this person was not a divine partner. This was not your soulmate. I have the Ten of Wands in the reverse because you're tired of struggling. You're tired of struggling in this relationship. You're tired of holding on to something that's not working out. It's like the more you try, the harder things get and you're just in a season where you're ready to let go. You're ready to release. So let's see what is coming in. I have the hermit you're going to be taking a lot of time to yourself solitude that's what's coming in you being by yourself you doing a lot of thinking contemplating things i heard spiritual for a lot of you by you being alone and just working on you you're going to really tap into your spiritual essence you're going to gain a lot of clarity about yourself, about your life, about what you truly want, what you truly deserve. So let's clarify the hermit. And for some of you, like, this is what you want. You want to be alone. Like, you're tired of being in a situation that does not benefit you. I have the fool, yes. Taking a leap of faith and doing what is best for you, finally focusing on yourself. I heard difficult for some of you. It has been difficult for you to walk away from this person or if you're still in this relationship. It is going to be difficult for you to walk away, but you're going to choose you. You're going to choose your happiness. You're going to choose your future over this relationship. 
So let's clarify the four. Because I feel like for some of you, you've been thinking about this for a very long time. Like this isn't anything that is new. Like this isn't a new um, feeling for you. Like you've been feeling like it's time to end this relationship for a while. And it's like you're just in a season where you're ready to take action. Because you're tired of giving to this person and you're not happy. And they're not putting in their effort. They're not meeting you halfway when it comes to this relationship. It's like you're trying to hold this relationship together by yourself. And this person isn't matching your energy. Everything falls on you. I have the King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you're, folk, you're not happy. You're not emotionally fulfilled. And because you're not getting what you want or deserve emotionally from this relationship, it's like you're ready to have a new start, a new beginning by yourself. It's like I can do bad all by myself. I don't need someone in my life that's <laughs> going to bring me down, that's going to make my life worse than it already is. I can do that by myself. So it's like if this person can't add to my life if they can't bring anything positive then i don't need them like i can just be by myself and be sad all by myself be upset all by myself like i don't need anyone <laughs> to make me upset i don't need anyone to make me feel alone Thanks. I have the Empress in the reverse. Yes, for some of you, you have children with this person. And you've been with them for a very long time. And it's like, things are just not working out. For some of you, you may already be in separation. But it's like, you are moving away. You're moving away from this relationship. You're moving away from this connection. And you're just focusing on you. You're going to be in a season where you're healing. I'm just fixing your life. Working on any emotional baggage that you're carrying around. Um, I heard different person. I just see a lot of you changing, evolving, transforming into someone different. I heard different environment. Just being around a completely um, different environment. Different people. An entirely different atmosphere. I just see you changing mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You and this person like are going to be on two completely different pages once you come out of hermit energy. You're finally just going to see things, see life for what it truly is. And you're going to want more. And for some of you, this person doesn't want more. Like They don't mind living the life that they're currently living. They don't desire to have anything more. And that brings you down. Because you want more out of life. You want to have things. You want to be successful. But this person, they're not on the same page. They don't want that. And so it's about you finding someone who is equally yoked with you. Someone who actually has the same mindset as you have. So let's pull one more message. I'm getting to like once you move on and you end up meeting someone else, it's going to be very difficult for this person to accept anyone new, especially um, if you have children with them. They're not going to want this person to be around their children. This person, I heard bitter. This person may be very bitter towards you um, and your new partner. I have acceptance. Yes. Gemini, this is just you accepting the situation for what it is and you finally taking action to do what is going to be in your best interest. It's like what is going out is you no longer holding on to a relationship 
that isn't going anywhere. And what's coming in is you taking all of that energy that you were investing into that connection and pouring it into yourself. That's what's coming in. You finally focusing on yourself. You focusing on your own happiness. You accepting the situation for what it is and moving on. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.